I've seen a lot of video tutorials out there on how to record your own content with OBS, which is free by the way, for things like reaction videos, gaming, streaming, desktop tutorials, and generally talking over pre-recorded footage. However, a lot of the video tutorials I've seen on YouTube only set you up for one audio output, which means your mix and audio levels are set in stone. Therefore, if you don't like the mix later on, for example, you think your vocals are too high or too low in comparison to the other audio levels in the mix, then unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. If you'd like to learn how to record in OBS the two or more separate audio tracks for greater mixing flexibility in things like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. So using a music reaction video as an example, this is how you would generally see OBS set up out of the box. I've got one track picking up the desktop audio and video, and another picking up the external microphone. You'd have a play with the audio levels on each track to get a balance that you're happy with. You can see I've reduced the, um, the YouTube video by 10 decibels here, and then I'd be ready to go. So I'm just gonna switch the display here and press play. Oh my god, this is such a great song. I can't believe I've never heard it before. This has changed my life. What a great reaction. You get my drift. I would then take my recorded output and place it within my video editor of choice, which in this instance is DaVinci Resolve, and it's done. However, we can already see there's only one audio track here, so if I'm not happy with the balance of the different audio levels in the mix, i.e. the voice and the music, then unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it, I'm screwed. But there is another way. Now before I learned this trick, I used to open two separate instances of OBS and have one record exclusively my external microphone and the other one record exclusively the desktop audio and video. I'd then import them into DaVinci Resolve, sync them up and balance the audio levels, which was a bit of a faff to be honest with you. So we're gonna head down to the settings option, head over to output, over here by default it should say simple but we're gonna change it to advanced. We're gonna to head to the recording tab here and then over this section you'll see audio track one, two, three, four, five, six. For the purpose of this video I'm only recording two audio tracks so I'm going to untick three, four, five and six and click apply. Press OK. Now the final step here is we're going to route the two individual audio sources to two different audio tracks. If we click on the ellipsis here and select advanced audio properties, what I'm going to do is have my desktop audio output to track one and then my external microphone output to track number two. We can simply press close. So I'm gonna over exaggerate this here and actually bump up the volume of the YouTube track to naught decibels. So when I hit record on the track, my vocal will be really low in the mix. It'll barely be audible. Now this is my recorded output and you're probably immediately thinking, well hold on a minute, you said this was gonna be two tracks, I can only see one. Bear with me. I'm gonna drag this into DaVinci Resolve. And we've got two audio tracks, it's absolutely brilliant. And if I press play at the section, had that been set in stone, I would've been screwed. It would have been really rubbish and I would have been upset and crying and then had to have redone the video all over again. But the beauty of having the two different audio sources on two different tracks is I can blend it so I can reduce the volume of the Barbie Girl video. Oh my god, I love this band so much. They're brilliant. They're the best thing I've ever heard. They're so fantastic. And you can also apply different effects and things if you wanted to, compressors, limiters, uh, DSs and whatnot, especially on vocals, which is always really handy. I'm not a YouTube pro creator or anything like that, but whenever I stumble upon something I think is really cool and insightful, I like to share it. So please subscribe and whenever I learn something new, you'll be the first to know. 
Until next time, thank you for watching, look after yourselves, and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye for now.